मैथ्स मेला सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर टेन फन एट क्लास पार्टी पेज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट चिल्ड्रन ऑफ क्लास थ्री आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अ सेलिब्रेशन इन द क्लास ऑब्जर्व द पिक्चर हेयर वी हैव अ पिक्चर ऑफ क्लास थ्री स्टूडेंट्स हु आर बिजी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अ सेलिब्रेशन let us do discuss and explain how you answer these questions based on the picture given here 1 what are the various activities shown in the picture 2 how does shelly find the height of the door 3 lena and adi use their hand spans to measure the length of the same table will they both get the same measurement teachers note The picture shows some examples of measurement using informal and formal tools for length. Let children identify the different ways of measuring and use appropriate words like hand span, footstep and paper strings. Page 129. 4. Circle the child with the longest ponytail. 5. Tick paper strings in the classroom that are as long as the height of the window. 6. Find the distance between the two walls of the classroom. How did you find it? Can there be other ways of measuring it? 7. Identify all the ways that children are using to measure length in this picture. Which way do you think is better and why? Children of class 3 are decorating the board with paper strings of different colors. Here we have a picture of class 3 children. decorating the board with paper strings of many different colors let us do 1 in the given picture color the paper strings as instructed here a color the shortest paper string with red discuss how you identified the shortest string b color the longest paper string with green discuss how you identified the longest string 2 how many more colorful paper strings will be needed to decorate the border of the green board 3 how many of red paper strings are needed to decorate the entire border of the board page 130 let us do 1 cut and paste a wool or cotton thread as long as the line given here we have a long blue line given here 2 draw a string longer than the string given here we have the picture of a string here 3 draw a string shorter than the decoration string shelly and adi are holding here we have a picture of shelly and adi holding a decoration string page 131 four draw the other half of the mustache which is as long as the half of the mustache on the face shown in the picture we have a picture of a man with a half mustache here five observe the strings and help adi choose the longest one how did you find out discuss here we have a picture of adi with some strings Shelly and Adi need to take a large table inside the classroom for the party. The table is too heavy for both of them to move. Without lifting the table, how can they figure out if the table can go through the door of the classroom? Help them find out what they must do. Page 132. Here we have pictures of Adi and Shelly and another girl. Adi and Shelly are confused about how to take the table inside the classroom and whether it will go in or not. Shelly says, "We can use this thread to measure the length of the table." She shows a thread in her hand to Adi. Adi says, "I guess it will not pass through." Another girl says, "Yes, it is longer than the door." Shelly says, The table can pass through the door this way. Adi says, "I measured the length of this side of the table." 
can there be a way to take the table inside the door if both the length and the breadth are more than the width of the door? Let us play. Make a bridge using boxes or bags or any other objects available in your class. Place or arrange the boxes so that the bridge does not move. Take some objects from your class and guess if the objects can go through the bridge. Here we have the picture of a boy who is making a bridge using many different objects. And he is trying to see if one of the objects can go through the bridge. Can you name some things that cannot pass through your school gate? Discuss. Teacher's note. Comparing two lengths is not always possible by bringing them next to each other, like in the above example of the table and the door. This exercise should help students to figure out that one can measure indirectly using a common unit. Page 133 Are these true for all? Children are measuring their body parts to make costumes for the drama. They have made these statements. Do you think they are true for all children? Let us check. Take help from your friends to measure. Tick the correct answer. On the right side, we have a picture of a boy measuring his body parts using his hands. 1. Your head is three hand spans round. True or false? 2. The length of your forearm is equal to the length of your feet. True or false? 3. Your height is equal to the length of your arms wide open. True or false? Shelley wants to make curtains for the drama. Lena got her mother's sari. Adi used his pencil to measure the length of the wall. Here we have a picture where Shelley, Lena and Adi are using different means to measure the curtains for the drama. Adi says, Measuring with a pencil takes a long time. Can we take something longer than a pencil? Shelley says, Let us take a paper strip which is double the size of a pencil. Lena says, Use this paper strip to measure the length of the sari needed for the curtain. Adi says, The paper strip is also too small to measure the sari. Lena says, Let us double the paper strips by sticking two of them together. Page 134 The three students are still busy measuring the sari. Lena says, let us use this longer paper strip to measure the length of the sari. Shelley says, This longer paper strip is one arm long. Adi says, I have seen shopkeepers measuring cloth with a meter rod. Shelley is thinking, How long is a meter? Steps for making a meter long rope. 1. Take a meter rod or an inch tape and a rope or a thread. 2. Make a knot at one end of it. 3. Keep the meter rod along the rope. We have a picture here which shows the same. 4. Mark one meter on the rope and make a knot there. 5. Now the length between the two knots is one meter. Check again whether the rope measures one meter. Page 135 Measure your height by marking one meter on the wall of your class. Write the names of your friends whose heights are more than one meter and whose heights are less than one meter. Here we have two columns. Column 1, heights more than one meter. Column 2, heights less than one meter. Write your answers in the blank spaces given. On the right side of the page, we have a boy who is measuring one meter along the wall, using a thread and pencil. Circle the tallest among these children. Here we have a picture of three children standing against the wall. Who is the tallest among them? Discuss. Page 136 Write the names of the objects around you whose length is one meter, more than one meter and less than one meter. We have a table here with three columns. Column 1. 
objects of length more than 1 meter column 2 objects of length less than 1 meter column 3 objects of length equal to 1 meter write your answers in the given blank spaces here we have the picture of a boy who is measuring things in relation to 1 meter in the first picture he says this is 1 meter long in the second picture he says fold it half this will be a half meter long in the third picture he says fold it in half again this is a quarter meter long on the bottom of the page we have a picture of a girl measuring a jar this jar is a half meter long page 137 let us do 1 find the lengths of different objects by using 1 meter half meter and quarter meter ropes write their names and tick in the appropriate boxes here we have a table with seven columns column one objects column two less than a quarter meter column three more than a quarter meter column four less than a half meter column five more than a half meter column six less than one meter column seven more than one meter write your answers in the blank spaces given two mark a line on the floor as a start line and then mark another line one meter from the start line stand on the start line and jump write the names of children who jump more than a quarter of a meter half of a meter and a meter three Take a ball or disc and try to throw it as far as you can. Now measure how far the throw was. Page 138. Do it for fun. 1. Measure the height of your teacher or parent using a meter long rope or a strip. 2. Estimate and cut one meter long wool or thread. Ask your friends to do the same. Now verify with the help of the meter rope whose estimate is the closest. 3. Cut a 1 meter long rope into 4 equal pieces. How many cuts did you make? 4. How many footsteps fit into a meter rope? 5. Use a meter rope to find how long is a side of the class wall. Write your answers in the blank space. Maths Mela, you were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing, Mayank Kumar. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.